All right, everybody, I wanted to give you a little update on the Camaro project that we have here. Done quite a bit of work and just haven't remembered to turn the cameras on to record it. But uh, we got the turbos placed, got the uh, oil feed lines ran, wastegates put on, the hose lines hooked up to that, the blow off valves, we got those put on, um, got the intercooler mounted down here see that and they got the oil or the trans cooler in front of it so I got the uh, other clamp for up here that came in yesterday we got the alternator on got the, the belt on got the uh, uh, idler relocation put out over there uh, got the New uh, low dollar motorsports map sensor hooked in. Still have to do the plumbing on the back side of the wastegates. Still got to weld those in place. I got those over there on the bench by the welder. Just need to cut those and get those put in place. Did get the um, the resistor and everything ran inside the wire. And then got that hooked up to the ignition key so when you turn the key on it charges, or it starts the, uh, energizes the alternator. That way once you actually fire up, it can actually start charging the system. Uh, I did get a bunch of wrap. So we're gonna wrap all the exhausts, hide all these nasty welds. We're gonna clean it up a little bit first before we just go through and uh, wrap it. And uh, yeah coming along pretty good still got to get the tune right on it um, I need to add some regular gas to the tank I just have e98 in it right now but got the three-point Mac hooked up this is a uh, reference line off the 5 volt that I have running um, to the flex fuel so if you're not aware uh, some of the flex fuel sensors require a 5 volt reference with a 10,000 ohm resistance on it. So I have that coming in here. And then, just for testing purposes, it's not the final way it's going to be wired, but I have a 10,000 watt ohm resistance going to the sensor line. This one goes back to the flex fuel sensor, and then this one, of course, goes to the Holly ECU. So as soon as I hook that up, then guess what? Flex fuel sensor started working just like it's supposed to. So side note, some sensors require the five volt pull up on it. So we're gonna go through and um, redo the wiring up here. Get to redo the uh, relays. The, the bottom two, the ones with the fuses in it, those were the cheap ones that I bought off eBay. I think I paid 10 bucks for five relays and um, I've had four of the six that I bought go bad. So I bought some new relays without the fuses in them and uh, that one seems to be working good so far. I've got that one uh, hooked up to the fan for a ground trigger on it. Um, so I'll be going through this week and putting in, uh, I got a, a bus bar that I'm gonna put in for my input outputs that way I don't have to worry about like soldering the connectors on them. I can just hook whatever input up I want. Uh, I did also get a fuel gauge, so that's new. I've never had one of those working in the car. So I can actually see how much fuel I have, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then the, the computer that I had hooked up to the screen, that died and is out of warranty. I think I paid a hundred bucks for it, so it's not too terrible of a loss but it still sucks losing a hundred dollar computer like that it uh motherboard went bad on it so i'll probably end up trying to find a tablet or a laptop that i can hook up to that screen that way i can still have both that way i can have the gauges over there while i'm driving around 
and then still have the laptop to be able to tune with. So that's where we're at so far up here. We have a lot of wiring back here that I was doing for troubleshooting. I wasn't sure if I wasn't getting a proper uh, reference line. My flex fuel sensor when I was trying to troubleshoot that because I had it originally hooked up here where the fuel pump was. So I am going to run this permanent and have that um, to the key. <clears throat> that way, um, whether or not this fuel pump's on or off, it will always work, <clears throat> which is what I want. I want the flex fuel to come on with the key on with all the rest of the ignition system. And then this fuel pump down here, that's a cheap AM380 or AM400. And uh, uh, I realized that I had that set up to be auto-triggered by the Holly, which is awesome. Uh, I was doing some running of this the other day, just working on the tune a little bit, and realized that I had my main fuel switch, which is for this Aeromotive A1000. I had that one turned off and the car was still running. It had good fuel pressure and everything. And I came back here and felt this and it was vibrating, it was working. Um, which is awesome because it wasn't, I couldn't hear it, like the engine was noisier than it, but this one, this one you can hear over the engine, that's how loud that one is. So, just a couple updates on the car. So we still have to finish up tidying up all the wires. I still have all the um, wires over there. Those are for the uh, driver side and passenger side window. Orange wire there goes all the way back to the trunk latch release. So still have to get those hooked up. Still have to hook up the tachometer. I got it ran. I just haven't hooked it up to the output on the holly yet. And the vacuum line. I got the vacuum line ran, just haven't connected it into all the rest of the vacuum over here. I have this one uh, just as a temporary setup. That goes straight to the the holly, the side does. So I had that hooked up so I could troubleshoot my um, original map sensor because the cheap map sensor I bought off eBay for like 17 bucks obviously didn't work. Um, so once I put that low dollar motorsports one in, the thing fired right up, worked great. So I have to uh, hook this side up. This is gonna go to my vacuum slash boost gauge. So I can actually see what we got referenced off there. And then the other side of it goes over to my fuel pressure regulator. And then um, this one actually goes around to the, the Mac valve. I still have to come up with a solution for that. Um, either a breather or a catch can of some sort. I'm not quite sure what I want to do on that one yet. But I still have to bleed the brake yet. Uh, my cap just came for that for my auto bleeder. That way I can start working on that. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. A lot of, lot of work, a lot of tedious work that you don't think about. Like I still have um, this line here going in here. Uh, that's part of the vent system on the heads. So I gotta take and figure out how I'm gonna wire, or plumb I should say, that into the rest of the cooling system. I've seen a couple guys say that they tap in uh, to the neck up here and just plumb it in there. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I wanna do that yet but it's coming along it's taken a while had a couple other side projects for some cars that people needed some work done on uh, so between that and working 45 50 hours a week at my regular job a little bit of progress here a little bit of progress there even if it's just 30 minutes a day coming out here working on tidying up the zip ties or tidying up the wires, trying to get something done on it. That way there's at least some progress still being made on it. So I want to run this line inside and actually have a spot set up up here for a five volt reference 
section. That way I can pull off that without having to constantly chop into the wire harness. Um, and I want to move that whole setup around and clean that up a little bit. Um, not so much the fuse thing itself, but if you see on the, uh, the left side, that's where I have all my wires ran for my ignition triggers. So I want to clean that up and have that have its own spot. So like we'll have the bus bar for the input outputs, have a spot just for key on basically, have another spot for just five volts, and then have all the spot for the inputs and outputs, and then have all the relays below it. That way it's a little bit a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier to work with, and a little bit easier to troubleshoot if there is an issue. So, figured I'd just give you guys a update on what's going on with the uh, the Camaro project, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned for more videos. All right, see you guys.